Brad? Captain? How did you find me? I'd say my plan of hiding from the crooks was a pretty solid move. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely give you that one. I mean, now they don't know how many of us there are. Mm-hmm. What's with the gas mask? I found it in one of the lockers. I thought it would help, but I don't know. We should get out of here. Okay, safe to say that we are now lost. It's a big ship and have a lot of corridors. I guess we just gotta explore every damn one of them until we find a way out. That is so not what you want to have happen when you're on a boat. We need to find a way up on deck. Hashtag my thoughts exactly. Well, oh, that's some ledge. Come, Brad. Come over here. Whoa. Maybe up here. I don't think we can go any lower. I'd say that's the main drive shaft. You ready? Yeah. That looks like the way out. I wish I could say this was going to help, but it's kind of lame in every way. Oh boy. That's high. There's gotta be a way up on deck. No shit, Sherlock. You're catching on. No, there's no way down this grate. Yo, Brad, check it. That ladder. That could be our ticket out of here. <sighs> Wanna draw straws? I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Be my guest. Yo, Bliss! You okay? Yeah, sure. How about you? Great. That's gonna be a big help. Damn it! It's okay. Uh, maybe there's another way. Uh, I'm looking up here. There's gotta be something.
Hey, you back in a second. Okay. Thanks. I could have drowned. I'm sorry, but you did the right thing. It was him or us. Fuck! Let's go! <laughs> 
but you wanted to surprise me with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's... You get, you get these guys that are not cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. <laughs> It's not possible. everybody whatever this is it's it's just fucking with me okay <laughs>
If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Probably not much of a practice what you preach kind of guy. Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? I should. But should I? <laughs> yeah, I should. <clears throat> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch open? Got some heft at least. Enough for the door.
What's the matter, tree boat? Don't you love me anymore? It's me, come on, let's go. all right here. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Now you're one down. And what about Conrad? He, or rather you, should have been a bit less careless. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, where's Conrad? Has anyone seen him? We got split up. I, I saw him. I, I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up, but he was gone. Gone where? Why? This, this just doesn't add up. He could be hurt. Bad. For all we know. Your brother runs as fast as his mouth. I'm not worried about him. 
Okay, we're going back right now and we're gonna find my brother. Julia. He could be dying right now, we have to. We will, just not yet. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just- This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? I was gonna say the same thing. I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What do you think actually happened to this place? Beat me, man. The date on the newspaper was 1947. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's getting hard to tell what's real around here. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. <sighs> this should go over well. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open.
Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. This is... This is where I chased Gunrise before. Over here! Got a way through here. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Last log shows him caught in a storm.
Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. If you can hear us. We're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. Broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship.
sort of altercation. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. Joe in sick bay. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, uh, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the, the coolest place to explore. Like, like ever. I'm gonna say no. Not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. been the son of somebody on board. Come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Uh, the ladder's broken off here. I, I think I can just... Wait! Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. What's up? That, it, 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 it was... Wait, wait, didn't you see it? Um, hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years, and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. was actually anchored. I wonder why.
You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. What do you think? I don't like it. Someone attacked that corpse recently. Too recently. Yeah. It could be anywhere. We're just wasting time. Let's go. Hey, hey, I found it! Oh, thank God. And it's working! Yeah, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! We need help, now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over! A recovery mission is being prepped. Please stay put through the vessel you're on. Over. We're on this, like, old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver.
would you do this? There's no use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? <laughs> have all the gold, then I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. <laughs> 